Hey, what's up YouTube? It's be the new lad that is here. I make videos about filmmaking and content creation. So if that's your thing, you should be subscribing to this channel. Today we're going to be talking about frame rates and what you need to know about frame rates. Frame rate refers to the amount of images that makes up a second of video. Videos are made up of images basically. So the amount of images that make up one second of your video is the frame rate. So if you're shooting in real time, what looks realistically to the human eye is actually 24 frames in one second. So if you're shooting in real time videos, you should be shooting 24 frames in one second. Now, there are other variations of frame rate. You can be shooting 60 frames per second, you can be shooting 120 frames per second, you can be shooting 240 frames per second, as high as your camera can take. But if you're shooting real time videos, you should be shooting at 24 frames per second. There are exceptions. Exceptions of when you want to shoot slow-mo videos. If you want your videos to be in slow motion, you should be shooting frame rates higher than 24 frames per second. Meaning you're shooting more images per second, which can now spread out into a longer timeline to create the slow-mo battery effect. Now, generally, there's a confliction between shutter speed and frame rate. Now, shutter speed is not the same as frame rate. Shutter speed is the amount of time taken to capture each images while frame rate is the amount of images that makes up a second you get the difference general rule state that your shutter speed must be times two of your frame rate so if you're shooting your frame rate of 24 frames per second your shutter speed should be at 48 most cameras can take shutter speed of 48 so you have to be shooting at 1 over 50 and if you're shooting at frame rate of 60 frames per second that means your shutter speed should be 1 over 120 if you're shooting at frame rate of 120 frames per second your shutter speed should be at 1 over 240 and it continues on and on and on like that the major issues filmmakers usually have is balancing that shutter speed as 1 over 50 while shooting real-time videos it's more like a battle it's like you have to sacrifice either your depth of field and shoot at 1 over 50 to get your motion blur in your images so it's usually an epic battle and most times i go through that also i don't like to sacrifice my depth of field in my videos so most times i usually take my shutter speed up to 1 over 2000 and all but at the end of the day I always realize that I don't like the videos when there's no motion blur it doesn't look realistic it looks amateur like so what I advise most people to do is to get a variable ND filter a variable ND filter helps you cut light and reduce the exposure of your camera so you can also still shoot at 1 over 50 and have your very nice depth of field most times iso is never going to help you in that point because your iso will be at the lowest you still have a full blast of exposure so get a variable nd filter shoot at 1 over 50 and make sure you're getting your motion blur your images if this was a video you enjoyed or learned anything from you need to share it to the content creator please do until next time i catch you on the channel please subscribe and i'll see you next time